<laughs> yes. Uh, today we are here to do the immigration process uh, for new citizens. So they are taking all the bio data and records. I'll put the word out as one of the newest Sierra Leoneans. Oh, my God. It's so hot. I said, let me go ahead and grab me. Let me go ahead and grab me a coconut before we uh before we pull off. Big day for us. Gonna get this passport situation started. We're all headed down to immigration. You see the group. And our bus is pulling up right now. Bus pulling up. They promised they wouldn't be late yesterday. <laughs> Mm -hmm. But you know, people have different types of timing. How you feeling, Stacy? Good, 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 good. It feels good to be here and also just to see the experience. So when it's my turn, I know what to expect. It's been absolutely a great experience. Only day two as well. Oh, <laughs> that is true. <laughs> Yeah, it has so much meaning for us to be able to get our citizenships and really be official, uh, official, you know, Africans, not just by blood, not just by an idea, but documentations, passports. Yes, indeed. And for myself personally, one of the main reasons that the passport will be good for me, I'll be able to move around so much easier. You know, they always charge us these visa fees when we want to enter a different African country. But being able to go to Ghana, Nigeria, Gambia, all these different West African places, even Kenya, without visa, eh? You know that's gonna make it a lot easier for me. We're gonna be able to see Miss Kanata in Guinea. We're gonna be able to see Saliu in Liberia. We're gonna be able to go see Ahmed Bari in Ghana. Hello, I'm taking you all with me. We're coming. We accidentally made a crowd. Not, 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 not have, have somebody take it. Have somebody take it. Yeah, if you want to give it to him, give it to him and he can go hand it to me. There's so many people. Yeah, it's just so many. Like 10, maybe like 10, maybe like 10 of those 20s, he can hand like one, 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 one. How many wheelchairs is it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. There's 12 wheelchairs. What's that? It's, it, it, if, you're, if you're doing 20s, it's like $10. $10 each or $10? Uh, you know, each one of those 20s is $1. So if you, if you give them, if you, if you do 12, That'd be like twelve dollars. Right? Yeah, something like that. Huh? Yeah, I got it. Okay. 
we, we're gonna try to we're gonna try to help out a little bit. Hopefully, everybody be behaves themselves. Every, everybody with a wheelchair or one. Okay. And brother, control the people. Okay. You, We're here to help. We're here to benefit the society. A lot of cripples, a lot of people that work here. It's just that it's a little bit hectic. So we want it to be orderly and we don't want the people to fight. Calm down. <laughs> Amen. Okay, mom. Thank you, thank you. Thank you very oh, much, my child. Thank you. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, that was crazy. <laughs> mom will be coming. You don't have to wait for right. that. Let's go upstairs. Let's go upstairs, but mom, they come. They will come. Yeah, they go. Next okay, yeah, let's go. Let's go up. Now, we're gonna go. Golly. Dinas. That was crazy. Dinas. That was fine. That was fine. I got all that started. It was unexpected. <laughs> Four words, wheelchairs turned to 20 real quick. <laughs> yeah, he gave it to him. He gave it to him. Okay, so we're in the office now. We're gonna get our processing started. I'll let you know what the next step is. <laughs> yes. Uh, today we are here to do the immigration process uh, for new citizens. So they are taking all the bio data and records so that uh, we can make sure that uh, we have all the information we need to provide a passport to our brothers and sisters who are tracing their ancestry to Sierra Leone. These are our new citizens, and as soon as they get those passports, they become citizens with all the rights and privileges. There are no restrictions. Uh, it's not a symbolic passport. It's full citizenship. Uh, so we need to make sure that we have all your biometric data. That is what we're doing today. And, uh, we're so thankful for that as well. I heard you even mention that the, you're going to be needing a bigger office. It's a, lot, a lot of us coming, right? Yes, uh, there are a lot of people. Over the years, the number of people coming back here to trace their ancestry has increased. And therefore, I'm going to need a bigger office because mm -hmm. I want everybody to be comfortable when they're here. Yes, yes. Uh, comfort is very important. You travel too far to get here. When you're here, you should be comfortable. So uh, since the number has increased, I'm going to have to find a bigger office space. And we encourage more people to come. This is home. And I want people to understand that it's not only by tracing your direct ancestry to Sierra Leone that you qualify for these rights. If you are a black person anywhere in the world and you feel like your healing and Pan-Africanism requires you to find a home in Africa, you can choose Sierra Leone and we will give you citizenship because as far as we are concerned, Biometrics and ancestry are not the limitation. Being black means you were, your ancestors were taken from Africa and if you need a home in Africa, this is it. We were set up that way. Sierra Leone is known as the province of freedom. 
It was set up to host liberated Africans from all over the world. We got people from England, we got people from Nova Scotia who migrated to Nova Scotia from the United States, and we got people who migrated from, to Nova Scotia from Jamaica. So we have the Maroons in our culture as well. So we, we believe this remains the official home of black people all over the world. And you're welcome here. And we will give you citizenship and there will be no restriction. It's not symbolic. We're not saying, oh, here's a symbolic passport because you're a black person. We're saying you are a citizen. Your ancestors came from here. You belong here. This is home. Hey. Appreciate it, sir. Yeah, get us, get us a bigger office. Monument and Relic Commission. I'll put the word out as one of the newest Sierra Leoneans. All of our government offices got to be official, upright, tight, so that we can be comfortable. But still thankful for all the processes, uh, and thankful for, thank you for the government, you know, bringing us out here. We still have gratitude, and we're here to improve things. It's okay. I'll just accept it that one because uh, <laughs> sitting there posing, thank you, thank you. Sitting there posing like that, <laughs> getting my face adjusted. But so, yeah, I went ahead and accepted that picture there. Officially, the passport picture has been taken. And let me go ahead and make my payment as well. You see, I'm here with Passport Stamp. What's up, bro? What's up? We're getting our paperwork done. Yeah. And how you feeling today, bro? Man, I'm feeling good. It's hot. It's humid. <laughs> but it's hot for good reason, man. Mm -hmm. We're here, Sierra Leone, free town to be exact. Getting this paperwork done, get these passports, do a citizenship. Everyone, you need to go back to ancestors, African ancestry, get your DNA test, get your bloodline, find, figure out where you're coming from and come back and get citizenship. Sierra Leone is one of the few countries that allow this, so I was lucky enough to get it. I'm here with my brother. He's doing the same. Yes, yes, He's doing the same exact thing. So, man, peace and love to everybody in this channel. Check me out at Passport Step. I'm here, man. Peace and love. Yes, indeed. We got to keep our heritages. We have to keep our traditions. It's so important to know our bloodlines. And that's why we're here. We came with purpose. Everybody here came from America with big purpose. Look at this man. They've been trying to keep us divided for a long time. But we're coming together now. Unstoppable. All right, I finished my paperwork. Man, I finished all those processes. You saw the office was really packed. But, uh, and it was a bit of a process as well, but at least the thing got done. I think we're gonna grab some food now. How you feeling after I'm, all of that? I'm feeling good, baby. Hey, because we, we went through it. Hey, yeah. hey, hey, y'all went through it? Yeah, but yeah. Um, yeah. That was a great time to see you early on. Yeah, happy to have got that part finished. I think we're gonna get grab some food now. Yeah, right on. Eh. Hey. It's so hot, I said, let me go ahead and grab me. Let me go ahead and grab me a coconut before we uh before we pull off and, and, and get this food. It's necessary. Oh my goodness. Thank you, my, my man, thank you.
see what some of this food talking about. Yeah. Yeah, that's, my meat. that's what I was looking for myself. Get the hands clean. I will be avoiding Pepe today. I'm not trying to get too much spice in my life. Yeah. No pili pili. I messed around. I already finished my plate. Almost, but. I messed around. I almost finished my plate, but man, you see, we got some of this high quality fish on deck. With the jollof rice. Yes, indeed. Sean and Joyner. Yes, yes. And uh, we're considering going to the market after this. But might just have to call it call it a day because we spent a lot of time in our office. We spent a lot of time waiting on this food. Uh, people are feeling like you know getting some rest. Mm.